how goes it, Andrew fans? It's me, the cool loser. And in this segment, I'm going to do the best apps of the week right out the market. I'd like to take this time and thank all of you guys for hanging in tight because I've been on and off, not steady yet. And everything is turning out great with my father, so things are looking up. So I'll be back shortly with two videos a week once again. A little YouTube update, 7,000 subscribers. That is awesome, and I'm not... 1,400,000 views. Thank you for watching and subscribing, guys. So by now, you're probably wondering why my apps are all scattered and bunched and not bottom like that. This is actually my live wallpaper in the background. Check it out. They move around and they are clickable. What good is a live wallpaper if it's not interactive, right? Check it out. They are clickable. Just clicked on the camera app, and it just brought me right to this, to that. If you have them down flat, it actually looks like sliding around a little bit better, and it's all slow motion. It's all about tilting and the positioning of the phone. And this live wallpaper is called Gravity Home. It is free. All right, so let's get to the best apps of the week. Retouch. This application is awesome. I'm going to show you just exactly what it's capable of doing. Touch Retouch. With this application, it allows you to remove obstacles or people's faces or objects inside of the picture that are already taken. How so? Check it out. I'm going to choose a quick picture. Pick this one out of my gallery. Pick the original size. And here I am several years ago with my alien family. This is the icon, which is the lasso that you use to crop out the objects that you don't want in the picture no longer. Once you select down, you will see where your outline is. So you, you can be real careful and uh, watch. Let's see. I'll leave the arms there and come up here and finish it. So now you can see it's all highlighted. And to push this button right here, which is play, and watch this. It's done better before, but you can mess around and you can go back if you don't want that. But you see that? It removed the alien from the picture. Crop out this guy. Just quickly. And press play. And I did alright job, I guess. And it just removes it, so you can just keep cropping out. And this is the paid app, and you will love the features to move objects from within. Recipes. This application is your favorite meals that you've gone to. And you can find out what recipes you can make with ingredients you have already at home by just typing in what you have. Categories. Let's say I want to find out main dishes. Let's do a dinner pie recipes and you can find all 520 dinner pie recipes. And when you go into it, you can see what the ratings are on here on the right side. And you can read what that shepherd's pie it says nine ingredients and two steps to make this shepherd's pie. It'll say 10 ingredients and 14 steps. It'll give you a picture of what you make and it'll tell you all the ingredients in here, what you need. And then if you go down here, it'll give you the steps of what you need. Now you can review what people comment on and say if they liked it, how it work. It says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can bookmark it and it added to bookmark so you can come back to it. So you can just kind of like mess around and say, oh, I want to make that later for tonight. It will make you an excellent cook. It'll give you a lot more knowledge of what you can make with your ingredients at home. It's just going to be an overall great thing. You can create your own recipe and say, oh, I got an excellent dish that I want people to know about. And they can, you know, rate your food recipe. And you can speak the recipe you want to find with that button up there. And now we have Phone Genie. Those of us who want to keep in touch with all the new technology, as far as phone and tablets go, this is the perfect application to have. You'll be able to research, find all the details of the old, the new, and the soon-to-be-released mobile phones out on the market today for all providers. You can see here, in stores now, and latest phones. Instead of being on Google, you know there's lots of, there's lots of search results, and you have to go through them to really see the information that you want to get with this application you will get only the results for what you're looking for okay I want to search details on Samsung Galaxy S2 and this is the result that came up and here you will see the Samsung Galaxy S2 result with the previous Samsung Galaxy version and then another the function there and you can click on it 
and you will see that it comes with information of the screen size, what people rate it as, and what are the stats and functions and all that great stuff for it. And you would just find it. Find out which one, which is your next device. You want to compare two of them. You can compare side by side. It's going to be a great application to find out what your next mobile phone or just to know what specs are out for all the other phones. It's not just for Android. It's for all the handset makers out there. PayPal. Those of us who use PayPal for eBay or any other reason to make payments towards bills or you want to donate to people <clears throat> like me to make bill payments, donations, monitor your balance. If you're familiar with the website, this is just like it, except for the mobile version. It's an application, so it's a little bit better set up for your phone. I'm logging in right now, and it is secure. Here is to send money, request money from someone. Uh, you can check the count to see the balance. I have zero. No one's donated to me, all except for one guy, which is awesome. And uh, I already put it into my bank account. Check your history, add funds, withdraw, add cards. And if you go to tools, you will see bump phones, split bills, PayPal, local, donate. And another cool thing about PayPal is you can take a picture of your check and it will be just like depositing at your bank teller or through your ATM and having it money transfer right into your, your account and by any chance if you guys would like to donate to the cool loser here's my email and I'll also post a link in the description and I would greatly super appreciate that anything helps towards making new videos and if any of you guys want a shout out for a donation I'll be happy to do that 3G Watchdog is a very popular application to watch your data usage for those of you who don't have unlimited data you can see here I haven't used much. For example, some of us have a 2 gigabyte cap. And if you take a look over here, you can see 5.94 megabytes I've used. I just got this application and just started a day ago. So that's how much I've consumed in just one day. So it's monitoring anything my 3G is used for games, applications, whatever I'm using that uses data. If you go to settings, you can set when it starts your next bill cycle and when you can just choose a warning in case you're going to go past it. Lookout Mobile. This is a very important application that I recommend to all Android users. Lookout Mobile is a security app to protect you if anybody steals your phone or if you've lost your phone or misplaced it. How about a backup? As you can see here, I have the security, which is a virus protection privacy advisor. That's the premium. There's the paid version. I'm on the light version. I'm on the light version. I'm super happy with it. That's all I needed. I already have a separate backup app, so I don't. I have it disabled and missing device ready, which means if I misplace my phone, I can track where my phone has gone. It's a great all-in-one application with these four features. That I only really use two of them, but I still keep it because every application that I download it scans it on its own and it tells me if it's safe or not sometimes I download applications that are not on the market so they could have viruses and if you're one of those people as well you want to get a virus protector because they you want to you want to be able to detect if that has malware or trying to steal your data to be you know just just to be safe so look at mobile is one of my favorite virus protectors out there mine might look a little bit different because it, it is an older version I have not updated it because I'm perfectly fine for how it is G Tunes Music. Now, before I get really deep into this application, I want to tell you that this application comes and goes off the market. Sometimes it's on the market, and sometimes it is not. So it gets removed a lot by Google, I'm sure, because it is a MP3 music downloader, which is free, and it comes with a whole bunch of awesome features and functions you can do. So I just checked in the market, and it's not on the market right now but it will eventually come back because I've seen it come and go lots of times. You can search right here. You can see a little category here that you can choose from rap, rock, electric, French music, UK singles, Japan, Chinese country music. There's a lot of music to choose from there, from the categories. And you can just type the title, artist, or album name up there. Once you have stuff downloaded, it'll be right here. I have none downloaded. I haven't really downloaded anything, but I have it just for when I want to. Library, this will be all the songs that you have on your SD card including ringtones and other mp3 stuff you already have on your SD card cool little all-in-one right here just like your music player that you have on Android stock and here is your actual player and the really cool feature this has is the editor mode if you have an mp3 song that you want to get for a ringtone you can make your ringtone with this application let's say I want to do this ringtone press play 
and say, I don't want this whole entire 13 seconds. I want to be able to cut it. And you can see here, I can stretch it out and see I want this much of the song. Let's see, move it there. And I want to stretch it out here. Say, I want just to that to be played. And that's what be in. I can press play right there and it'll save it. And I can put it in as a ringtone or a text message lazy song. It'll search. Click on here. You can preview before you download. Let's do preview. Very good quality, guys. It's going to be a really great application. Crackle, this application is a free movie streamer. Let's go to menu and go to browse. So you can see here you can browse the movies, television, and others. And let's go to movies. Now you can see full length, clips, trailers, or all. I'm going to do full length. It's fine. And you can see all the movies that you can watch. Let's go bad boys. Come to the description what rated it is, movies, clips, recommended, and share, and let's do watch now. We're not sure what's going on now, but it's not playing for me, but it has, and I haven't used it for a while, so it's a little buggy, obviously. Try it out for yourself. Number Guru, this application is a reverse lookup to see who that caller is. I'll just do my old house phone number. Press go. That's kind of funny. My phone number is now Royal Moore's Auto. So it still is for Oregon Funds your Communication Northwest. And you will see that that number, it goes to here. And if you're a cell phone person, it'll say your name. And it might have more descriptive about you. So it's pretty cool. You can see the history here that you've searched. Air Push Detector. This application is to detect, see which applications are using data. The ones that are sending data in the background that you don't know of, that you're not using, and it's still sending data, it'll be checking up here. Now, I'm not sure why it hasn't worked for me. I might not work for my phone. I don't even know if it really works at all, but it's supposed to. I press refresh, but it doesn't do anything. Or it could even mean that none of the applications are doing it without my knowledge. So everywhere I go, I connect through Wi-Fi. I'm not using 3G, so I don't know if that makes a difference. But here it is. If you'd like to try it out, hopefully it works for you. Hacker's Keyboard. This application is indeed to replace your stock just to have a different keyboard and I'll show you just what it does. Now I'm going to go into my tweet deck. So here I, I tweeted earlier I was going to be making a video and let's check out this guy. It says can't wait to see it. So he can't wait. Now what I'm going to do is hold down inside the text box and I'm going to select input method Hacker's Keyboard. And this is the hack keyboard. It looks just like the gingerbread keyboard, but it comes with customizing features. Click on the customize button and you will see here that you have the control to make it taller. So let's say I want the height to be 55% more. So let's click it now and you can see, look how high it raised now. That's way too big, obviously. So let's go back here and let's put it back. Actually, I'll do 25% and you will see how small it is now with 25% shrunk. It's real small and you can still make it smaller. You can change quite a bit of settings here for it. Full length keyboard, key label scaling. What looks really cool is the landscape mode. It's a full on complete keyboard. You see there, one, two, three, four, five, five row keyboard. It's really great. You can still fix this one and type in like I made it kind of small you can still make them bigger and you can use them actually taller but then you won't see anything up here but you can still type with it and uh, type in anything and here's your back and it's just really cool keyboard instead of using the stock ones you can see it has all the keystrokes in there really easy to get to and there you guys have it those of you guys who are wondering what this Carousel is, it is called Ultimate Faves Pro. And these are the best apps of the week, right off the market, brought to you by me, the cool loser. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to spread the word. And I'll see you guys next time.